Using clear marking criteria and rubrics will ensure that students who perform well and avoid breaches of academic integrity will be rewarded with good marks. Establishing clear criteria in advance of the assignment submission and sharing that with students will enable them to know more clearly what they should do with their assignment in order to perform well and achieve good marks. Let's look at how you might do this by taking DCU's virtual learning environment loop as an example. Before we begin, let's pause to consider what a rubric is and why you should use one. It's a tool that includes descriptions of levels of performance to enable the grading and or feedback of students' work. Common definitions in assessment literature include a rubric is a coherent set of criteria for students' work that includes descriptions of levels of performance quality on the criteria and a document that articulates the expectation for an assignment by listing the criteria or what counts and describing levels of quality from excellent to poor. Some benefits of using rubrics include providing rich feedback to students on their performance instead of a simple numerical value, assisting students to perform to the best of their ability by explicitly stating what is expected of them, and helping lecturers to plan classes by easily identifying assessment criteria that can be aligned to the teaching and learning. In loop, a rubric can be created as an advanced grading method within an assignment. On your loop course page, click Turn Editing On and either create a new assignment or click Edit, Edit Settings on an existing assignment. In the Administration panel, click Advanced Grading and change the Active Grading method to Rubric. Two buttons will appear. You can either create a new instance of a rubric from a template if you have one, or you can create one from scratch. Let's choose that option. Give the rubric a title. Use the description field to explain what this rubric is for. Scroll down to the Criteria and Levels area. Here is where you will enter the detail of your rubric. Think of a rubric like a grid. On the left, you have different marking criteria for the assessment, and going along the right, you have different levels of performance of each of these criteria in ascending order. Each of these levels should contain a detailed and meaningful description, as well as a specific points value. Let's start entering our rubric for this assessment. Simply click on the first grey box to get access to a text field into which you can type. Let's enter our first criterion here. In the first of the levels box, enter the lowest performance level for this criterion. It's good practice to include a level worth zero points, so this is what I'll do. Move on to the next levels box to enter the description and points value for that. Keep working through the levels for the criterion, adding descriptions and points. Click add level to expand your criterion. You can set points at any value you like, but they are relative to one another. So if you have one level that has a points value of 1, and another level that has a points value of 7, that's weighted 7 times more than the first one. You can have as many levels as you like, but the more levels you create, the bigger the rubric becomes, and the more difficult it becomes to use, so be sure to keep a good balance. 
To add another criterion, either click the duplicate icon to copy your first criterion and edit it, or click Add Criterion to start a whole new criterion. Enter the title of the criterion, and move on to specify the levels associated with it by following the same steps as before. When all your criteria and levels have been entered, scroll to the end of the page, being sure to leave all of the rubric options ticked, and click Save Rubric and make it ready. When students click in to view their loop assignment, they have access to the rubric. So when they are preparing their assignment, they have clear criteria available to them. Creating a meaningful rubric takes time and effort at the start of the assessment process, but it can save time and effort in the long run. A rubric makes expectations clear for students, and it makes it quicker and more consistent for a lecturer to grade, as they just select each of the criteria levels applicable to the student. Consider co-creating a rubric with students. This will create a sense of ownership and helps build capacity among students for the assessment task. See Principle 12 for more information.